Hello. Okay, so yeah, if you can see right here, there's a bit of a thinning hair patch, and on this side there isn't. Uh, yeah, I took my cap off, and I need to like fix my hair. I kind of want to wear my hair down, but it's not safe. It really isn't safe to wear my hair down uh, right now because they've been after my hair for years and years and years. And look what they already did. They have been after my hair for years and years and years. And they really have destroyed it so many times. Okay, so um, really, I just like, I try. I try. Every time I get involved with something, it gets destroyed. Like, I just went through Harper's Bazaar, uh, the magazine, and there were so many spells and curses and stuff like that, like, to make me look one way or another, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I was just like, okay, okay, you know, all right, Harper's Bazaar, you know, it's all these things, I can only enjoy them one time, and then after that, the evil coalition gets their hands on them. But what I'm getting the feeling is that not for long, not for long. See, uh, what you didn't know is, well, you may have known because my men may have told you, is that um, throughout the course of all this time, I've come up with other plans, like little plans and stuff like that. And one that I think really... Uh, had an effect, uh, I came up with, I think last month, you know, and, um, like, I'm starting to see the effects of it, you know, because, um, I really, I'm feeling very much alert and with it and all that kind of stuff, and yeah, you know, whatever, they took my beauty and they passed it around and all that kind of stuff, okay, that's fine, you know. I don't really need my beauty back because really, trust me, it was so horrible to have, uh, to have any kind of beauty. Uh, it just was like, it was such a heavy duty consequence for having some beauty, some beauty. That's it, just some beauty. I wasn't even like stunning, but, um, just some beauty because these people have just been, so terrible to me. So this is what they made me look like. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. And you just sort of seen some of the pictures that they were showing me of what they're really going to make me look like. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I plan on being the lone wolf anyway. Okay. Okay. So there. And if my looks come back, what are you going to do? Cry? You're going to cry because my looks come back? Look at that. See, they're wrinkling it all up. Those wrinkles weren't there yesterday. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Mm-hmm. They showed me wrinkled faces. They showed me uh, really overweight, round faces that were not attractive on overweight women and stuff. Yeah, so there, yeah. Make you really old-looking and make you really overweight and unattractive. Okay. Okay. And destroy your hair. Uh, this, uh, it, these are the things they want. But I really, I don't know. I just, um, I have uh, at least uh, yesterday and today and the day before, I have felt, you know, my mental health just return. Just return, you know? And while it comes and it goes, it's like, it is, it's kind of steady, you know? It's kind of holding steady, you know? And, um, and a few things are, like, coming and going and stuff. So, like, I'm, like, really there. Like, see, it's not teetering that much anymore. It's like this and like that. And, um... And, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not about to do a victory dance or a victory lap yet because these people have so much up their sleeves, you know, that they try to do to me, you know, this and that and the other, you know, thanks, look at this, I just, mm -mm. 
anyway, uh, this and that and the other and everything you can imagine, they really, really have tried so many things. And, um, and so I, uh, I'm just taking it just moment by moment, you know, like I have been, you know, it's moment by moment. And, um, these moments, these last few days, you know, with the clarity and feeling completely in sync with the world and, and that, you know, although the, it hasn't been straight all the way through, it's been wonderful. It has. It really has been wonderful. 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 So, you know, put it in the ground and take it, take it. Well, take it out of the ground and give it back. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Everyone who stole everything they could from me because, it's, you know, hey, go to her and take her stuff, you know. Sorry. Sorry. I came up with several plans to get it all back. And uh, hopefully I do, you know. Hopefully I do. Because, well, I don't know if those plans will work. I really don't. But, like, I'm seeing some, uh, some hopeful signs. I am seeing some hopeful signs that the plans will work, you know? So, hmm, some hopeful signs. And, okay, so here everyone is talking about, like, I can tell... Like, I've been through living with them and all that. I know right now they're, they want to make me, uh, really, really fat. Really, really overweight, I should say. Really, really overweight. I don't know, like, humongous. Uh, they want to make me even uglier. Thank you for making me ugly. Uh, and they want to make me even uglier. Uh, and, uh, they want to, um, they want, uh, this is the main thing. Ooh, they're coming after my creativity. They really are. Like, um, they've been talking about how, uh, people, you know, lose their creativity and, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. So, they're coming after my creativity. Like, they come after everything. <laughs> I come after everything. Okay. Okay. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that this whole queasiness, you know, like queasiness, like I can't handle, uh, like I can't handle blood and guts and all that kind of stuff. I think that's a spell <laughs> because the evil coalition didn't want me going into science and medicine. So they did that to me. So I wouldn't dissect anything and I would get nowhere with my science lessons as a kid, you know, as my private, with my private science lessons as a kid. So that's what they did. I'm I'm almost positive that's what they did, you know, because they had to interfere and block everything. They had to interfere with and block everything, you know? So I think that's what happened uh is that they are the ones who made me queasy. It doesn't matter though. It really doesn't matter because like, med I'm still, I'm not interested in medicine. I was never interested in medicine. Like, I remember from a very young age, I just wanted to be an artist. That's all I wanted to do was be an artist. And, you know, shame on you, you, uh, that organization formerly known as my men, Shame on you, okay, for forcing me to do science lessons when I wanted piano and art lessons. Okay, shame on you, shame on you, okay, because you were pushing me in the wrong direction and you pushed me into education 
when I did not want to be a teacher. I wanted to be an artist. Thanks a lot. Anyways, but uh, I'm running out of time.